What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Lorna Marie. If you're new here, welcome. Today for you I have a toy closet organization video. This is from start to finish me reorganizing my entire closet. I've developed a system to keep my house clutter free from all the toys because we know how crazy that can get. Now give or take a few. I mean my house is not perfect by any means. It is far from it. But I have a system in place to make sure that all of the toys are in one place. So my kids know how this works and I'm going to show you how to do it here today. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that little bell notification. I do all kinds of mommy, household, lifestyle, organization videos here on my channel. Give your girl a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. It really helps out my channel and I would so appreciate it. So if you wanna see how I redo my entire toy closet and the system that I keep in place to keep my house toy and clutter free, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so what I like to do is pull everything out of whatever area, room, closet, cabinet, and start with a blank canvas. That is super key. So Here is the before. This is all of the toys in our entire house that we drug out of our toy closet, and we're just prepping it to start organizing and putting all of our containers together. So this closet is a walk-in closet in my bedroom and excuse me in my guest bedroom downstairs all of our rooms are upstairs except for that one bedroom and it works out really well now i would say obviously not everybody has a guest room with a walk-in closet so you can do a cabinet you can put it in your garage you can do um they have some really cool like cabinets with doors you can get one at ikea i mean anything like that that contains everything you can use this system and it really really works out nice but we're gonna first talk about how we redo the entire room and then we'll get into the system of keeping the toys under control. So I bring everything out of the closet and then I start organizing, dumping, putting things into categories, okay? So like my son has little figurines. I put all the little figurines in something. Um, all of the art stuff in one, all of, you know, everything that had a category, I put it in there. All the doctor stuff, all the Legos, all the Play-Doh, all the, you know, guys, it goes, the lists are endless of these toys. And also, I wanted to pare this down and make a rule. If we cannot fit it in this area, this closet, and it may not be a closet for you, I have four kids. It could be a cabinet. If it does not fit in this cabinet, if it does not fit in this toy bin or whatever it is you use, then we have to get rid of stuff. That is a rule that we have in our house and I love that because my kids are gonna know if it doesn't fit in here, it doesn't belong because we can't be having the toys and the clutter in the house, not just toys, but everything. So if it doesn't fit, we're getting rid of it. And so they got rid of a bunch of stuff because as I was putting stuff in, you guys will be seeing like, there's no way all that's gonna go in that closet. Both of my kids were helping me sort their stuff and I think it's really good to make sure that you get your kids involved and make them participate because if they don't, they're not gonna appreciate what you're doing and how much you're organizing stuff. They're just, they're not gonna have that vision. But if they're actually having to do it, they can appreciate, oh wow, this is hard work and I know that if I mess this up, I'm gonna have to do it again. So I make sure my kids get in there, they get their hands dirty, I make them throw stuff away. My kids work hard, my kids, you know, they have a lot of chores and even this was an extra chore on top of what they already do. If you guys haven't seen how to get your kids to do chores video, I'll link that in the down bar for you. But I like to have systems all throughout my house just like this toy system that I have in place. So after I organize everything and um, put everything into bins and basically start deciding what I'm tossing, what I'm keeping, now it's time to put everything into the closet. You guys, so I stuck one bin in there just because I'm measuring but here is what things are looking like right now this is not gonna go here I am moving all this stuff this is all of my homeschool stuff and it's just too much here in the kids toy closet so that will be leaving I think I'm gonna do homeschool activities and toys up here and then I'm gonna have all of this is gonna be all of their bins for their toys that they're gonna get to on a daily basis I really like the way the shelf fits it fits good I could fit another huge bin like that one at the top there. The only thing is I can't fit two of these side by side and if I flip it around, the door won't open and close. So that's kind of my dilemma. I bought a but. shelf from Amazon because when we first moved here, I still had the same system, but it didn't work because I had all of my plastic bins stacked on top of each other. And I don't know what made me think that that was gonna work, that my kids were gonna be able to like move all the tubs and pull them out. It's like, hello, this, this doesn't work. You know what I mean? So 
I bought a shelf and so now they can easily slide it out. They're not all stacked on top of each other and it works out really well. So I start putting things and deciding, okay, one kid gets this shelf and the only problem that I fell into was I have a one-year-old and she has a lot more toys than I thought. I thought I was gonna be able to keep one little bin. So all my kids have their own shelf, their own bins. On the far right, I have all of their community toys. That's what I like to call them, which is Play-Doh, Legos, puppets, um, balls. Uh, we have a little ball pit thing. And then uh, kitchen stuff and these giant blocks. These are all community toys that we all share. The kids know that they're for everybody, they're not anybody specifically. But the toys in their bin, they are responsible for. And I put their names on them. I don't really like their names on them. I did this a long time ago, but I'm like, you know what, it's cool. They get to see, you know, whose bin is what, and they have to keep their bin organized. And the other rule is it has a lid. You can't just set stuff on top of the bin. I teach my kids that. You can't just wedge things in there. You have to take it out and put it away which I know it seems like a hassle, but you have to teach them that keeping things nice is work and it will be worth it in the long run when they're like, mom, I can't find that one Barbie shoe to go with this outfit. And I'm like, well, girl, you didn't put your stuff away. So you have to be on top of them and make sure that they put their stuff back and that they have a system. And you know, now my kids, they appreciate having like everything organized in their little containers. My daughter has one for her Shopkins and all of that. So they can appreciate the organization of it and being able to find things. So I think your kids will start to love that in the long run. You guys, so I moved this thing over here. So now there's nothing there except for that little glass thing. But this is my progress and it looks I feel like it looks better, but I feel like if my husband were to walk in right now, he'd say, what did you do? Which I would kill him for. But um, I feel like we're doing good. We just have this stuff here. You know, it's like when it gets to the end, you have so many little pieces and crap. You're just like, I'm probably gonna throw a lot of it away. So now let me t show you guys the progress in the closet. Okay, I'm gonna get into this system that I use because I think this is gonna be a game changer for a lot of people. My kids do not have toys in their room. Whoa, this might be blowing some people's minds. Some people might be like, yeah, that's right, that's what we do. But um, I, in my house, my kids don't have TV in their room or toys. When they go to their room, they know it's time to go to bed or it's time to read a book, it's time to relax. Every once in a while, I'll let them bring the iPad in there or a special occasion or if mom and dad just need like a peace of mind, I'll let them go up there and bring like a laptop or something and they'll watch a movie, but it doesn't stay in there. I just don't like having the TVs in their room. I don't like having toys. It's hard for them to focus on being able to go to sleep and when they have all these distractions around them. Now, my kids have like stuffed animals and books. They're not um, overran with stuffed animals either. And my daughter, my baby, she's one, she has one little toy basket, but that is to occupy her when we're changing the other baby's diaper or doing whatever it is we're doing upstairs. So those are literally the only toys I have in my entire upstairs, in my entire house, besides my playroom. I also have one toy bin that has like a Buzz Lightyear, a couple balls, and like literally like 10 toys in this one thing that I keep in there. So they have a kitchen in their playroom and I do not even keep their kitchen toys in there. They have to pull it out to come play with it. I have a whole video that I did. It was one of my first videos I ever filmed, so don't judge me, <laughs> I did my best. But you can see how I redid my entire playroom and I'll list that in the down bar for you guys. All of the toys are in the toy closet. All of them, from the whole house. What I do is, if they wanna play with a toy, they have to pull that toy out play with it and they cannot take anything out from that closet until they put it back. And they have plenty of toys. It's not like my children are deprived or anything because they have an art bin. They have all kinds of stuff to play with. But what I found is giving them too many options to have out, they can't even enjoy their toys. So I developed this system in my house and I absolutely love it. It helps out so much and it helps them play more creatively because they have a clean space. They can bring the stuff out and really focus in on what they're doing. 
Okay, you guys, this is the official before. This is my guest bedroom and all of the toys that we drug out from the closet that we were just shoving in there. These are all of the toys from the entire house. So it was pretty crazy. And now, oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how much I love the way it turned out. I love the way the shelf makes everything so easy and accessible to pull out. I can get to all of their learning toys. The kids can enjoy all of their stuff and without dealing with the stress and it gets put back on time. So I absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna give you in detail a little tour of everything. Guys, so here is the room. This is the next day. We added this rug last night. We finally finished super late. I have my homeschool things over here. So now at the top of the closet, this is mostly stuff that we're not gonna be using all the time. That's why it's up here. I have our extra packs of Play-Doh. Um, this is all preschool curriculum, okay? And then as well as this stuff on the end here and the very top above the science stuff. These bins um, are our to-go stuff for my entertainment bags. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link that down below, but I keep all of our entertainment stuff inside there. So on this first shelf, this is for my youngest baby. I have a bin of her toys. Now I'm noticing yesterday she definitely has bigger stuff that I wanna put um, in other places. So this is just like her smaller toys. This is one of my son's absolute favorite toys. It has all of the shapes and he's only two and he can totally do this, which I don't know, I think that's impressive, but maybe it's just because he's my kid. <laughs> okay. So then on the next shelf, we have Roman. Roman is my 10 year old oldest son in his bin. And I say, you can only have one bin. And he chose to do all Nerf guns. I said, hey, go for it. So these are also his, he has Nerf guns in this one. And then he has like spy kit stuff, I believe in the other one. So that's his bin that he likes to have. So then on this next row, we have JD Hanna. She is my soon to be eight year old. Hers is Barbies, Shopkins, and different stuff. That's like her thing she does, but we have to organize hers a little bit more. Um, she's got a little float, a bit of floating pieces, which those will all go in like little plastic containers like that. But then on the side here, she has um, some little num nums and um, a little kit we have on the side here. So this is her little shelf. So then we have my son's toddler shelf. Okay, this is my two year old. Now on this side here, this is more of like the community stuff. This is like toys for everybody. So we have puppets in here in one of those little drawstring bags. And then we also have musical instruments. And then I just stuck two of the baby's big toys that wouldn't fit anywhere else right there. We have the kitchen stuff. We have balls that go with a ball pit right here. And then we have Legos and Play-Doh. Now, anyways, so those are the blocks that they absolutely love. And my son and daughter just absolutely love building things and knocking them down. Um, my oldest son has two of his Nerf guns. Now, my tip is if you're going to have things like this, make sure when you pull it out, it's not going to fall down. So I'm going to get like a little bin right here. Um, that's why I have this as far right, so I can pull this out really easy. Now back here, I have all of these little pop-up tents and tunnels. My kids love those, as well as um, the little ball pit thing. So this is a bin for my son. This is um, for my oldest son. He gets an extra bin as well that has all of his spy stuff, and um, he has these little tire, rolling tire things. And then this is Jadiana's whole doctor kit. So it's like literally fully set up with all her doctor supplies. So, and that is pretty much the whole thing. So, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my toy closet organization video. I love these videos. They're so much fun. I hope you could use anything. And if you can give your girl a thumbs up, let me know that you enjoyed that. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit that little bell, check out all the links in the down bar, including my new website. And I have a question for you. Do you guys implement a system with your toys? I'm really curious. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.